Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. Do you play Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules? It's the two-player, two-handed game. It's a really nice option if you don't have enough players for a four-player game. Play Siamese style. If you don't know how to play it yet, there is a link below the video to the lesson playlist. Look for the words show more to expand the video description so you can find that link. It really is a lot of fun and it's very challenging. They even have tournaments sometimes. If you have enough people to play in your area, in a tournament you're on a timer. So you have to make quick decisions. This exercise that I'm going to do is to test your speed with decision making. I call these Siamese sprints. Before we do that though, have you subscribed to my channel yet? If you haven't, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any new ways to play Mahjong. And also, you might pick up on some strategies and maybe gain an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Let's get to those sprints. I have my smartphone out and I'm going to use a stopwatch on it to track my time. I'm going to attempt to make decisions in under two minutes for each random pull and we're going to do three random pulls. So there'll be three sprints. Sprints one, three, and five will be the sprints and then laps two and three will be set up. Let's see how things go with this series of sprints. Under two minutes for advanced, under three minutes for intermediate, and under four minutes for beginners. I think those are really good guidelines. Multiples east. West, five, seven. So I'm thinking we should do something with winds, east and west with twos or fours, east and west, hmm, maybe news with twos, eights or fours or sixes. Let's just pull up our we're just going to pull up all the evens and see what we can do with these evens. Odds down here. News with two, four, six, or eight. Two, four, six, or eight. Let's just see what we can do down here. One, three, five, seven, nine. Oh my goodness, look at that. One, three, five, seven, nine pair hand with either ones or sevens. Oops, okay. I'm gonna lap it. Okay, this is what I would do here. This one on top is gonna be rough because we have a lot of options. News with either twos, fours, sixes, or eights. Whatever comes in, I would play. So technically, let's just say we go with twos. All these would go away. That's nine discards. Then down here, one, three, five, seven, nine pair hand with either ones or sevens. That would be the pair hand. Let's see here. That would be the third one from the bottom under odds. So technically, we have 12, discard, 12 discards, which is really rough. But I think that would use most of the tiles with options. So that's what I would do. One, three, five, seven, nine, and news with evens. Or east and west with evens, whichever worked. If you would do something different, let me know. Sprint two.
Okay, multiples, flowers, four, six, two. So two, four, six, eight. I'm gonna put all my two, four, six, eight on top. Two, four, six, eight. And down here, we might be able to use the flowers there too. So here we have multiples of seven and one, seven and one. So I'm thinking we could maybe play a year hand. So I would keep all the sevens and ones. So I think we're in between like numbers in the year category here. I'm gonna lap it. So this is what I would do to leverage the multiples. Two, four, six, eight. Here with the two, four, six, eight, we wouldn't be able to, oh, there's another one. Two, four, six, eight right there. Okay, so probably the very first hand, we have no gaps and we have flowers, or we could play the concealed one and use this as joker bait. The other option, Oh, here's a six too. Look at all the two, four, six, eight here. So use Joker, do this for Joker bait. And then down here, I would play either the year category or like numbers with sevens or ones. We could even maybe play lucky 13, seven, six, three, we don't have a one bam or a three dot, but I would hold these for the option to play lucky 13, in which case I would probably hold that one too. So we're in between like numbers, year category, or lucky 13 down here, playing six and seven, and then up here, two, four, six, eight. If you would do something different, let me know. That's not too bad. Six discards with joker bait and options. It's going to take some work to make that happen, but there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of options with this one. Last sprint. Okay. We're ready to go on our last sprint. <laughs> Building around multiples, which is I think the strongest strategy that you can do for American style. We have a pair of reds, a pair of north, a pair of nines, a pair of five bam. Here's a pung of eights and a pair of nines. We could play five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no gaps there. No gaps at all. That's pretty nice right there. And then up here to leverage the multiples, I think I would try for a quint. North, red, nine. As an option, hold the west. Um, we could play news, all winds, maybe even north and south with dragons. That's how I would do this lap. Quint, North, Red, Nine. Hold these for options for either North and South with dragons or news. And then down here, five through nine sequence hand. The first one under consecutive run. That leaves eight discards, nine discards, including the flower. That would leverage all the multiples, which is the strongest way to play. Let's see how things went with time. 
Do you think I made it? Sprint one was one minute 48 seconds. Sprint two, one minute 35. Sprint three, one minute 56. All under two minutes. Have you tried this yet? Do you have a set at home? If you have a set at home, give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you're an advanced player, under two minutes or two minutes or less. If you're an intermediate player, three minutes or less. And if you're a beginner at Siamese Mahjong, four minutes or less. And then push yourself to go into the other thresholds to better your game. I guarantee you this will work. And the goal is to pick options that will give you eight discards or less. That would be a really strong start, even if you have joker bait and options, but try to build around multiples. That is the strength of this style, multiples. And multiples could be pairs, pungs, or even kongs if you're lucky enough to get a kong. It's pretty rare, but it does happen. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn new strategies, maybe pick up on an insight into the game that can give you an advantage at the table, or maybe even you could learn a new style of Mahjong. Between now and the next set of Siamese sprints for American style using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.